इन बच्चों दिस क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू सम बेसिक कांसेप्ट्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री वाज आस्क्ड इन जेई मेंस 2025 दैट इज इन रुमास मेथड फॉर एस्टीमेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन 0.4 ग्राम ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड गेव 60 मिलीलीटर ऑफ नाइट्रोजन कलेक्टेड एट 300 केल्विन टेंपरेचर एंड 715 एमएम एट जी प्रेशर द परसेंटेज कंपोजिशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इन द कंपाउंड इज द एक्वस टेंशन एट 300 केल्विन इज गिवन टू अस सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द परसेंट कंपोजिशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन so in dumas method this nitrogen gas is collected over water surface so it is saturated with water vapor so that is why this aqueous tension is nothing but the vapor pressure of water at 300 kelvin temperature so we have to find the pressure of dry nitrogen so dry nitrogen pressure that will be equal to the given pressure that is 715 minus aqueous tension that is 15 so this is 700 mm of hg this is the pressure of nitrogen gas okay now this uh, in atmosphere it will be 700 divided by 760 this will be in atmosphere because one atmosphere is nothing but 760 mm of hg okay now we can find the number of moles of nitrogen gas collected so number of moles is pv upon rt by the ideal gas equation now pressure is 700 divided by 760 okay now volume of nitrogen collected is 60 ml so we convert it into liters so it will be 60 into 10 to the power minus 3 so this is in liters because the value of r is 0.082 this is in liter atmosphere per mole kelvin okay that is why the units we have converted to liters uh, this volume in liters and the pressure in atmosphere and divided by r r is 0.082 in two temperatures that is 300 kelvin so with this we can find the number of moles this will be coming at 0.0023 okay now the mass of nitrogen will be number of moles multiplied by its smaller mass that is 0.0023 multiplied by 28 this will be the mass of nitrogen collected in grams now we have to find the percentage of nitrogen so we divide it by weight of the This mass of the organic compound, which is 0.4 gram, so this percentage of nitrogen in the organic compound is 0.0023 multiplied by 28 divided by 0.4. So this will come as 15.71. So 15.71 percent. This multiplied by 100. So that is the percentage. So this will be 15.71 percent. So option A is correct. Thank you and wish you all the best.